Theodore Stratolates Greek, Hagios Theodorus Ho Stratolates lit. The General, or Military Commander, Coptic, also known as Theodore of Heraclea Greek, Theodorus Heraclius is a martyr and warrior saint venerated with the title Great Martyr in the Eastern Orthodox Church, Eastern Catholic and Roman Catholic Churches and Oriental Orthodox Churches. There is much confusion between him and Saint Theodore of Amasi and they were in fact probably the same person, whose legends later diverged into two separate traditions. Life Topic. Theodore came from the city of Eukaida in Asia Minor. He killed a giant serpent living on a precipice in the outskirts of Eukaida. The serpent had terrored the countryside. Theodore armed himself with a sword and vanquished it. According to some of the legends, because of his bravery, Theodore was appointed military commander in the city of Heraclea Pontica, during the time the emperor Licinius began a fierce persecution of Christians. Theodore himself invited Licinius to Heraclea, having promised to offer a sacrifice to the pagan gods. He requested that all the gold and silver statues of the gods which they had in Heraclea be gathered up at his house. Theodore then smashed them into pieces which he then distributed to the poor. Theodore was arrested and subjected to torture and crucified. His servant Veros, also venerated as a saint, witnessed this and recorded it. In the morning the imperial soldiers found him alive and unharmed. Not wanting to flee a martyr's death, Theodore voluntarily gave himself over again into the hands of Licinius, and was beheaded by the sword. This occurred on 8 February 319, on a Saturday, at the third hour of the day. His life is listed in Bibliotecha Hagiographica Graeca 1750-1754. The two Saint Theodores Topic. Numerous conflicting legends grew up about the life and martyrdom of Saint Theodore of Amasi so that, in order to bring some consistency into the stories, it seems to have been assumed that there were two different saints, Saint Theodore Tehran of Amasi and Saint Theodore Stratolates of Heraclea. The earliest text referring to the two saints is the Laudatio of Nikita's David of Paphlagonia in the 9th century. It was said that his Christianity led to many conversions in the Roman army, which was the reason that Licinius was so concerned. Christopher Walter treats at length of the relationship between these saints. It is suggested that Theodore Tehran as a recruit and ordinary foot soldier was viewed by the people of Byzantium as a patron of common soldiers and that the military aristocracy sought a patron of their own rank. Another possibility is that he was in fact originally derived from a third Saint Theodore called Saint Theodore Orientalis from Anatolia. In art, both Theodore of Amasi and Theodore Stratolates are shown with thick black hair and pointed beards. In older works they were often distinguished by the beard having one point for Theodore Tehran of Amasi and two points for Stratolates as in the fresco from the Zeman Monastery below. There is much confusion between them and each of them is sometimes said to have had a shrine at Eukaida in Pontus. In fact the shrine existed before any distinction was made between the saints. The separate shrine of Stratolates was at Eukanea the modern Corum in Turkey, a different place about 35 km west of Eukaida the modern Avkut. However, it is now generally accepted, at least in the west, that there was in fact only one Saint Theodore. Delahaye wrote in 1909 that the existence of the second Theodore had not been historically established, while Walter in 2003 wrote that, "...the Stratolates is surely a fiction." The patron saint of Venice before the relics of St. Mark were, according to tradition, brought to the city in 828 was St. Theodore and the Doge's original chapel was dedicated to that saint, though, after the translation of the relics, it was superseded as his chapel by the Church of St. Mark. This may be either St. Theodore of Amasi or St. Theodore Stratolates, but the Venetians do not seem to have distinguished between them. See the section on St. Theodore and Venice in the article on Theodore of Amasi. Topic. Byzantine perspective Topic. Saint Gregory of Nyssa, brother of Saint Basil the Great also known as Basil of Caesarea, who is venerated as a saint in Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Oriental Orthodoxy, Lutheranism and Anglicanism, held a different opinion. This is because, although the two Theodores were born in close territories and martyred in parallel, their names were involved in the confusion between two pilgrimage sites. 
Saint Theodore Stratolates was from Eukanea while Saint Theodore Tehran Hagios Theodorus Ho Teran was from Eukaida territories close to each other. Usually mostly Western researchers by mistake interpret the lack of reference to two Theodores in the valley of Arita or Iris in Yesilirmak River up to the 9th century, which was the date that their names were established as proof that they both were one and the same person. Unfortunately this is not the case since, in fact, each of the saints had his own pilgrimage site. What causes Western researchers to get confused is at that time 9th century, the pilgrimage site of Eukaida had declined but that of Eukanea was starting to flourish. Also, Avgaros or Warus Greek, Agaros or Waros the personal secretary of St. Theodore Stratolates wrote his biography, which clearly differs from the one St. Gregory of Nyssa wrote for St. Theodore Tehran. Coptic perspective Saint Theodore is known in Egypt as Saint Theodore of Shotep, Saint Tedros of Shotep or Prince Theodore Coptic, Arabic, Alamur al-Shhide Tads al lit. Single quote single quote. Martyr Saint Prince Tedros el shatbi Single quote single quote. He was born to a soldier in the Roman army named John who was Egyptian from the city of Shatab in Upper Egypt. His mother Usawaya was a prince's daughter. John married her when he went to Antioch to fight against the Persians. When his wife learned that he was a Christian she attempted to make him deny his faith and become a pagan. When John refused, she drove him out of the house. Later, an angel appeared to John and assured him in regards to Theodore, saying that he would be the reason for the faith of many people in Christ. John rejoiced at what he heard and decided to return to his home in Upper Egypt. The days passed and he grew and was awarded the title of prince because his grandfather was a prince and his mother as well as and his father's high position in the army. His mother sent him to the army to become a soldier, and over the years he became a famous soldier for his courage and skill, and through his friends he knew that his father was a Christian, so he returned to his mother and told her what he had heard, and was angry because she lied to him that his father died in the war. Here he decided to become a Christian, he went to the priest called Olgianus and asked to rely on the name of Christ. A priest taught him the foundations of Christian faith. Over time he became a brilliant military commander and when Diocletian heard about him, he appointed him a commander over 500 knights, and called him, Prince Theodore the Asphiler, brave commander. Life continued and someday Saint wanted to meet his father and took a search to know his father's home and decided to go to and met him. He traveled to Alexandria and from there to Shotep. He went to the church of the city and prayed, and then asked about a person named John, and people told him his place and his severe illness. He went to John's house and met him. John was very glad to meet him and thank God for achieving his request and talked together. Five days later, John died, Prince Theodore and people buried him, and offered consolation to Theodore. He told them that when he die they must bury him next to his father John. A war was fought between the Persians and the Romans, and the emperor called him to go to Antioch for war so Prince left the village and traveled to Antioch and meet Saint Theodore of Amasi. Here the story is similar to the above mentioned. Many churches have been built on his name since the time of Emperor Constantine, and he currently has many churches named after him throughout Egypt, and for the great fame of the saint in Egypt, including an archaeological monastery in his name in Mona el Amir, Giza. It is said that the body is there after he was attended by his mother when he became a Christian in the reign of Emperor Constantine. An area in Alexandria was named by that name the region became known as Alexandria Shatby attributed to him. Topic commemoration topic His annual feast day is commemorated on 8 February the 21st of February NS, the 7th of February in the Latin Rite though this is no longer liturgically celebrated in the Roman Catholic Church one of the few ceramic icons in existence, dated to see. 900, shows St. Theodore. It was made by the Preslav Literary School and was found 1909 near Preslav, Bulgaria now National Archaeological Museum, Sofia. Topic gallery topic topic See also topic Simeon I of Bulgaria Theodore the Martyr topic References topic topic Source topic Book of Saints, the A Dictionary of Servants of God canonized by the Catholic Church compiled by the Benedictine monks of St. Augustine's Abbey, Ramsgate 6th edition, Revised and Rest, 1989, Butler's Lives of the Saints originally compiled by the REVD Alban Butler 1756-59 Delaney, John J., Dictionary of Saints 1982. 
Delahaye, Hippolyte, Les Legendes Grecs des Saints Militaires, Paris. Demas, Otto, The Church of San Marco in Venice, Washington, 1960. Demas, Otto, The Mosaics of San Marco in Venice, four volumes, one the 11th and 12th centuries, text, 1984. Farmer, David, The Oxford Dictionary of Saints, fourth edition, 1997. Grotowski, Peter, Arms and Armor of the Warrior Saints, Tradition and Innovation in Byzantine Iconography 843-1261, Leiden 2010. The Oxford Companion to the Year by Bonnie Blackburn and Leo Frank Holford Stevens Oxford 1999 Walter, Christopher, The Warrior Saints in Byzantine Art and Tradition 2003 Oikonomides, N. Le Dédoublement de Saint Théodore et les Villes de Backquote Uhida et de Backquote Ucanea, Analecta Bolandiana 104 1986 p. 327 to 335. Synaxarian Sebastian Alpha Ebdomados triodion catonicticon tes agias chi Miguel's tesseracostes ectosis fos Athena topic. External links topic. Lives of all saints commemorated on February 8 at Orthodox Church in America.